Today on BCPOV, Yuka and I are riding in the South Chilcotin Provincial Park. A bike packer's paradise, this region is renowned for its alpine riding. The plan for day one is to follow Gun Creek up to Spruce Lake where we'll make camp. Day two will have us ride over Windy Pass along High Trail to Taylor Cabin. On day three we'll exit via Lick Trail which will bring us back to where we started. But anyways, let's get this adventure started. Enjoy! <laughs> Uh, so this is the very start of our Chilcotin's trip. Uh, we just parked our car, we just packed our bags, and we're about to pedal up Gun Creek Trail, and we're gonna camp tonight at Spruce Lake. Woo! Yeah, so the total trip is going to be three days, and uh, that'll be two nights. It's September, kind of late September right now, so it's maybe yeah. gonna be a little bit cold at night, but during the day it's still like 20 Celsius out, so still pretty good. I couldn't bring much jacket. Yeah, I said you have to go really light, Yuka. Really, really light, because it's not going to be fun, any fun to ride your bike if you have a really heavy pack, so. I might freeze to death. You might. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get on the road, or on the trail. All right, on the way. So yeah, we got about 20 kilometers to get to the campsite. Yeah, we have only three hours to. Yeah, maybe three-ish hours to do it, but I think we can do it. But it's mostly uphill. The hardest part is going to be at the end. Just getting up to the lake. Bear, bear. <laughs> Yuka really wants to see a bear. <laughs> yeah, but not only a bear, it's a grizzly bear. Oh, you want to see grizzly bear? Oh, yes. Well, they're a little scarier than black bears. <laughs> yeah, but they are not interested in us, so. Well, probably not. If they're not hungry. Probably not, but uh, if they are, it's definitely worse than a black bear. See, that's why we got the bear bang and bear spray. Yuka's got a really big backpack. I'm wondering what she put in there. Well, first water crossing. So Yuka has a small problem with her uh, derailleur. Well, it's your V tension. Oh, okay. The tension is not yeah, right. Yeah, the tension is not. Can we make it to the campsite? <laughs> I don't know. Can we? I don't have a proper light. I have a proper light. You are my light. Oh. What? Actually, your drill is broken. Huh? How do you know? This piece is missing. Oh. I don't want to go back to the car. There's nothing in the car that'll fix it. I don't want to go back to the van. Yeah, well I guess we just keep riding like this. Yeah, it's okay. You just don't get the small gear. Yeah, that's oh. that, that's all right. Like yeah. It's not gonna like a break down. I have to push my bike maybe, you know? That's the worst yeah. scenario. I didn't hit any. Yeah, you might have been ready to break. Yeah. yeah. Well, it still shifts up almost to the top here. Yeah? Okay. So. It's just gonna spin. Yeah, what is what is that for? And basically, this piece is gonna push against there mm. and make sure the driller stays a certain distance away from the cassette. Oh. But that piece is gone now. Okay. So. How can I break that one? Just over time. Oh, like it just snaps, okay. right? Because yeah. the driller is constantly bouncing around. Yeah. So. Okay. So that was like all the driller, that's why. I think you can still ride. Okay. You're just not gonna have your granny gear. Yeah. But your front ring is like a 24 or something. Yeah. So it's already really easy. Oh. Yeah, if it lasts like the next two days, then I'm happy. Guess you gotta buy a new derailleur. Or a new bike. As long as you can paddle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, the upside is that a lot of the climbing here is just pushing your bike up a hill. <laughs> it's not as important as it could be, I guess. So beautiful. Oh, more oh, that's a big one, huh? That's like a, a lake. Okay, you go first. I go first. Maybe it's better to walk. So we've traveled about six and a half kilometers now. We have about 14 left, maybe a little more. 
Huh. Yuka said she wants to eat something. And I said, let's do it at the top of the hill. Now we're at the top. Oh, we're at the top now. You made it. Yes, we have to eat El Pan. Oh yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay. Get it for me. Is it the top one? Okay. You can sing El Pan because we've been studying uh, Spanish because we're planning to go to Mexico <clears throat> in the van. And uh, it would be good to be able to speak a bit of the language. Yes. Looks a little squished, honey. Yo, yo como el pan. <laughs> como or como? Oh, what is this? Is it yeah. Nutella? Woo! Yo como el pan. What's the move? Con, con Nutella. Con chocolate. How is your sandwich? <laughs> it's not too low. Hello. <laughs> not too low? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's really wide, honey. Like this? Yeah. Okay, I just want to be in the middle, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess we weren't in the top yet. Now I got the energy. Yeah, Nutella energy. Rocks. Ooh, it definitely gets colder near the water. Ooh! That was sketchy! As Yuka would say. Yeah! That was sketchy, honey. Oh, a little bit sketchy. Are you scared? Mm. No. <laughs> I think you'll probably be okay. Now we're down by the water again. It's rocky by the water. Just entered a bit of a minefield. Minefield? A minefield? I don't know if I'm going to make it through there. Oh, oh gummy bear climb! <laughs> okay, time for gummy bears. I'm noticing that we're eating all the food out of your pack. Yeah, and it's get lighter. Yeah? yeah? And then when you run out of food, you're just going to take mine? Of course. Oh, okay. Tasty gummy bears. Nice. Mm, good snack. Yeah, maybe that's the best. My favorite, like, we have the the bags of like dinner, but it's way more fun to eat trail mix and gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but oh yeah, it gives us energy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just like candy. But. Yeah. Oh, so much power after those gummy bears. <laughs> You're almost at the top. <laughs> oh, it's pretty here. Ooh, rocky. Oh, so nice here. Oh, another water splash. Oh, you don't want to pedal? No. Oh, okay. We've done 12.6K uh, now. Yeah, maybe eight, a little bit more than 8K. Is it too long for you? Oh. Well, I think you're going to have to do it. Oh. Hello. Pretty good, you? Yeah. Have you seen anybody else today? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll be there before sunset, I think. Going into Spruce? Yeah. 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 Camp there? Yeah. Where are you going tomorrow? Uh, we're going to do high trail. And then, oh no, I'm not sure yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, enjoy yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Have a good hike out. Okay. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Bye. Oh, this is so cool.
We're back to the river. Oh, nice. <laughs> Good line, honey. There's the bridge. <laughs> yeah, it's really blue here, huh? Kiri desne. Kiri des. Is that me? No, the river, not you. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's get off the bridge. It's cold here. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to I think it's uphill for a while, actually. Oh yeah. yeah. This is hard, honey. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> oh. Yep. That's enough of that. Mm, we should check your bike later. What? All your pivots. Yeah. I just remembered the story with yeah. you, and yeah. maybe I'll tell the story for the the people watching at home. A few years ago, we got a float plane to Lorna Lake and uh, we were uh, riding out and we got to Spruce Lake. And at Spruce Lake is the fork to take either high trail or take this trail, Cutting Creek. There's four of us, three of us wanted to go the hard way up high trail because we're just a little bit crazy. But Ewan, he was pretty tired. So he's like, okay, I'm just gonna go by myself down Cutting Creek Trail. Put a few people on there. We split up. We took high, high trail. You and took Grun Creek. We did this massive hike a bike up high creek, up over to Lake Trail. It's getting dark. I had to use some lights. So we got to the parking area and you and truck was still there. And he should have been out way before us because he took a much more direct route. So we're kind of freaking out. So we're like, oh, what happened to him? Like, so we go to the campsite, he's not there. We've got a Tyax, he's not there. So then we decide, okay, well, we gotta go find him. So we go back to the parking area to hit the trailhead, and then his truck was gone. So somehow he passed us and went to the campsite, and we never saw him. So when we saw that his truck was gone, we drove back to the campsite, and there he was. <laughs> so what had happened is one of the bolts at the rear axle had fallen out, and uh, he couldn't find it. And basically, he just couldn't ride his bike anymore at that point. Basically, what happened is Ewan had to walk out with no light, he was just using his iPhone for a light. So yeah, that's the story of the time we left Ewan for dead. Anyways, I felt really bad after. I was just apologizing to him and he was like, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Anyways, if you're going to the Chilcotins, make sure you check your bike, check your derailleur hanger, <laughs> check your derailleur. Cause uh, yeah, Yuka's is broken, but we'll be able to get ahead. But if she lost a pivot or a small link, she can't ride her bike anymore. Oh wow, that's awesome, wow. huh? And the color, it's awesome. Yeah, the fall colors are fantastic. I'm getting flashbacks to Japan now. Yeah. Japan had all had beautiful fall colors. Yeah. Okay, honey. Ooh. Wait, who are you gonna crash into me? <laughs> you have to hop over, honey. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> careful. Ooh. You can tell she's a little off balance with that big pack. Oh, there's the bridge. I think I want to get some water. Whew. Tasty. Nice bridge. Heavy backpack. Gun Creek. Gun Creek. So now, now it starts to go up. Oh, yeah, okay. and it gets a bit tricky too. Don't fall off the cliff, Eric. <laughs> yeah, me too, they're awesome. Yeah, it's so nice in here. Two Spruce Lake, five kilometers. Five? Yes, honey. That's what the sign says, five kilometers. We've gone 17.1. So maybe it's more than I thought. You lied to me. It's 22 kilometers instead of 22. You lied to me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't lie, I just gave you my best guess. Are you upset? Always. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's gorgeous in here. Oh man, 
bad, so yellow. Oh, the grouse up there. The grouse, they seem to love to follow the paths. Beautiful. Oh, the sun is on the mountains there now. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit cloudy. You standing in my shot, honey? <laughs> oh, you want me to open the... <laughs> okay, let's eat. It's starting to get a bit chilly. I'm not sure exactly when sunset is, but it's about 20 minutes to seven o'clock. So I imagine it's gonna be setting pretty soon. If it hasn't already. Well, I guess the sun hasn't quite set yet because you can still see sun up on the, on the mountain there. But uh, yeah, I would say it's pretty close. <laughs> Did you know I fell from the cliff? Did you fall off? <laughs> what happened? It's over there, maybe you can't see. But... Were you riding? Uh, do you remember there's a really steep hill? Yeah. So it was too steep. And you fell backwards? I stopped. No, I just fell onto the side. Oh. <laughs> How was it for you? Once. You rolled once? Oh, you're like a ball. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay, honey? No, not really. You okay? No! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go before the sun really sets. Then it gets dark really fast, honey. All right, we're getting close to the campsite, but it's gotten quite dark in the forest here. In fact, I don't, have no idea if the camera's even recording anything of use right now. Oh, mud bog. <laughs> this riding is very rooty, so we have to be careful in this. We actually do have a light, but... I think we're too close to pull it out for such a short section. Spruce Lake is still too far away. We can do it. It's mostly flat now, honey. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a bit of light, huh? Yeah, in the trees it's just so dark though. Well, after getting uh, after getting our fire going with some gentle persuasion from our camp stove. <laughs> the wood is pretty wet actually. It's pretty hard to get going. Um, we got a fire and it's uh, really nice to have actually. And uh, Yuka's got her, what are you eating there, Yuka? Fettuccine Alfredo. With, With chicken. chicken. Oh, nice. I have veggie lasagna. And uh, we've set up our tent. So now we can just uh, relax and Giving that fire was a great boost to our morale. Nothing like a cozy campfire to settle down to. And with our tummies full, we headed to bed. Be sure to keep an eye out for the next video where we head into the Alpine and finish at Taylor Cabin. We had some interesting adventures at the cabin. See you next time.